after two and a half years, winning is finally taking my calls again. Michael McLean, badassbrotherhood.com, horsepower, not horse shit. Beautiful morning here, just heading out to the point and back, 15,000 steps, uh, 71 minutes. Today is going to be quicker because I need to get Emery to her summer day camp. So I'm going to be going at a quicker pace than my four miles per hour. Maybe I'll get up to five miles per hour today. So winning, winning is hard. Uh, if business 31 years in the business trenches and 22 years as a professional and amateur hockey coach, if it's taught me anything, it's taught me how hard winning is. It has taught me how demanding winning is. It has taught me the 10,000 hour outlier rule for mastery in anything. You've got to do the work every single day. Winning has taught me that consistency matters, honesty matters, authenticity matters, but showing up every single day and doing the work in private, when nobody's watching, when nobody's cheering us on, when there's uh, no pats on the back or attaboys, all there is is work. So I have gone through this process and it is a process it's not perfection, it's a daily process. I did it building my insurance company and 5Xing my dad's insurance agency. I did it chasing a Barclay Cup, rebuilding the Perth Blue Wings. In all those cases, it took me literally years, years for winning to take my calls. It took me years to find the profits in those businesses, to find the wins, to find the success, and to build the legacy in those businesses that I was looking for. Years and years of extreme hard work, private victories, certainly like the great Stephen Covey said, private victories precede it, public victories. In those cases, at the end, it was always like, wow, lucky guy, or <laughs> great job, you make it look so easy. And it was years and years and years of extreme hard work to make it look easy. A true story that I'll share with you, I like to emphasize how hard winning really is because one of the things that I despise about most gurus, pretend experts, or MBA fuzzy-headed academics is the fact that they share their pretend victories all the time. Well, these are the three things you have to do to, to win. These are uh, the things that, uh, you know, will lead to, you know, championship results, all these different things. And the harsh reality is, this is advice dispensed from people who have never, ever won anything, ever, in business, in sport, in life. They're not doing what they're teaching, and they've never had any level of elite success in what they're preaching about. They've never won. They've never won. I can tell by their vocabulary. I can tell by their mentality, I can tell by the look in their eyes. They've never won anything. So I like to dispense the harsh reality instead because really I think it serves entrepreneurs and businessmen and it gives you a battle mindset where it gets you through the dark days, the tough times, the immense grind of building a company. 
building a new world, building a marriage, building a relationship with your children, building your physical body, building your mental health, building your marketing, building your company, building your profits. It all takes incredible pig-headedness, pig relentlessness, grit. It's, it's the ultimate grind. Doesn't matter how many shortcuts you know or how many hacks you know or how much experience. At the end of the day, we have to show up every single day and do the work. So for the last two and a half years, I have been showing up and doing the work behind the scenes in private with this company, Badass Millionaire Brotherhood. This is my brand new coaching and consulting world building company. I help elite men like you, top 1% businessmen who are over the age of 45, married with children, who are entrepreneurs and businessmen, and I help you build the world of your dreams. I help you build a world where you are king, your rules, and your terms. That's what I do. I help you be, live life. I help you live life and do business on your own terms. I teach what I do personally. I teach what I've done in the past. I teach what has worked for me. And I continue to teach what I use in my life every single day as an entrepreneur, as a businessman, as a husband, as a father, as a community leader. I teach what I do. So for the last two and a half years since the China virus and my hockey team was shut down, I immediately pivoted back into this business, which I absolutely love. I have a passion for teaching business. I have a burning obsession with marketing. I love marketing. I love building systems. I love reading. I love studying and I love teaching. So when everything was shut down in March 2020, including my second run at a Barclay Cup championship, everything, our season was canceled, the year was over, and I was standing there one day in a suit and tie after a game, and I realized that our season was over. We were right in the middle of the playoffs. So a couple of days later, I did the ultimate pivot and pivoted back into the coaching and consulting business, which I've been in for, in a number of years. I'd taken four and a half years off uh, from it after selling my insurance agency. So I pivoted back into that business after being away for four, four and a half years. Well, I might as well have been starting as a rookie again, as a, uh, as a, <laughs> I was green as grass. I had to relearn all the latest technologies. The fundamentals were still there. I still had the skill set. I was still doing what I was teaching. I still had three active businesses, even though I had sold the insurance company. But what is amazing is how hard the journey has been over the last two and a half years. Everybody would see the, the recent world building coaching program I put on a couple months ago. They would see the book that I wrote that I've sold thousands of copies of now. They see these daily videos. They see the excellent employees I have and my business partner, Marc-Andre LeBlanc, Leanne Brennan. They see my lifestyle. They see a business. On Cliffy. They see a business that, uh, you know, it looks like uh, it's simple and it's easy. And candidly, it's been a hard, hard grind. And it's supposed to be a hard, hard grind. That's the point. So for two and a half years, Mark andre and myself and Leanne for the last year have been working tirelessly six days a week, seven days a week, to build this company with our mission. Our personal mission is to help one million businessmen 
build their own world and finally start living life and doing business on their own terms. Pretty simple, that's the goal. It's gonna take a decade, it's gonna take 10 glorious years to make this happen. Way back when I started this in March 2020, I remember hiring coaches, I remember buying coaching programs, I remember hiring uh, consultants to help with our webinar. Our webinar that we created, uh, we spent almost an entire calendar year, 12 months on a webinar to sell businessmen into coaching. It failed multiple times. It wouldn't convert, it was too long, it was too short, it didn't hit the pain points on and on. 12 months, day after day, week after week, working on a webinar that didn't convert. My friend Russell Brunson, who was I was in two masterminds with years ago, is famous for saying that his click funnels, his first 50 some funnels, I guess more than that, but I'll say conservatively 50 funnels, 50 funnels plus failed before he had his first successful funnel. This is Mr. Click Funnels. This is Mr. Funnel. This is Mr. Funnel Hacker. Nothing but massive failure after failure after failure. And all that everybody sees is, you know, a multi-million, multi-billion dollar business, Click Funnels. They see the end product today, but underneath it is massive, massive amounts of trial and error, embarrassment and failure. So we spent a year of time and money on a webinar. Then we had to learn all the new media that had changed since I had retired four and a half years before that. I had to learn Facebook ads from the ground up. Mark Andre had to learn how to make all that work. So we hired consultants and coaches and bought programs. I was just constantly investing tens of thousands of dollars in the best coaches and teachers and products on the planet. I never ever for the last two and a half years have stopped investing. I have bought hundreds, literally hundreds of books and read them. I have studied coaching programs, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 automation programs, softwares to run it, everything. I had to learn how to shoot videos on this camera, this broken iPhone with this gimbal. I had to learn, uh, you know, that I had to focus on what a how I'm gonna communicate. I decided video emails. I had to learn YouTube, and this is all the stuff that Mark takes care of, but he had to learn it as well, coming out of university. I had to hire Mark Andre. I had to partner with Mark Andre. And then in the last year, we had to hire and attract a person like Leanne Brennan, my executive assistant, to help with the job of doing all the details around this. So we went from no employees to one employee. I have invested over 440 thousand dollars today in June into this company badass millionaire brotherhood in the last two almost two and a half years I have invested okay I have bootstrapped this myself no banks no credit cards no debt money out of my investments money out of my safe harbor position I have invested almost half a million dollars Cliffy come on buddy almost half a million dollars into this new venture to help one million businessmen. Do I have any regrets? Is there, do I think about it twice? Never, never. Investment is the key. I have a abundance mindset. I hire great coaches. I hire great mentors. I read great books. I invest in great coaching programs, all of those things. So we've done it the right way. But I need to emphasize that it's all work. And this is why it's so important that you have passion for what you do. I'm not one of these guys who teaches, you know, if you love it, you know, you're going to make money because that's not true. If that was the case, 
I'd be lying on a couch watching football and I'd be rich because of that. That's simply not true. You have to find something that you can monetize, that you can make money at, that you can create value that somebody will trade money for. But you need to have an obsession and a passion for it or you'll never get through it. If I didn't have a passion for marketing, if I didn't have a passion for building companies, if I didn't have an obsession with coaching other men, businessmen, and helping them build their worlds, I would have given up in those first couple months. I wouldn't be walking out on this road at six in the morning, but I have a passion for this. So that's very, very, very critical. Stay, buddy. So um, for two and a half years in, all of a sudden, winning starts taking my calls. And what I mean by that is that all of a sudden, for the first time in two and a half years, we have, uh, stay there, buddy, stay there. We have uh, money coming in after two years of almost zero income. When you're building something, all you're doing is paying the bills, as you know, you're paying the salaries of your employees, you're paying taxes, you're buying things, everything. It's just expense after expense after expense. I am gratefully in a position where I can bootstrap this company for years if I had to, but it just, I need to emphasize how difficult it is to run a small business, how difficult it is to, um, to create a winning business. What is the stat? Two, two out of three businesses in North America go bankrupt or close their doors in the first two years. So I think it's two out of three, something like that, of small businesses. In other words, in the first year or two, they go broke or close their doors. They can't make it work. Uh, so very, very difficult. And most don't even make it the first two years. So we're, in, we're into the two and a half uh, year area. And it's just something to be very extremely proud of to be extremely excited about because we're finally, after two and a half years of nothing but relentless work, we're starting to see the fruits of our labor. So everything, our tipping point in the last few months, the last half year, has been the release of my brand new book, How to Not Get Your Ass Kicked in Business and Life, my 25 rules, for living life and doing business on your own terms. As soon as I wrote that book, which was a Herculean task like no other, I mean, <laughs> I had that book in my head for, I don't know, 22, 23, 24 years, but I sat down and I wrote that book over 60 days. So I was writing six, seven hours a day. I was giving it the old Stephen King every day. Just write, 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 break, write, break, write, write some more, take a break. So when we launched that book and we launched it through uh, my email list, I launched it through Facebook ads, we're doing YouTube ads, uh, it took off immediately. And that book educates businessmen, it tra attracts businessmen and it sells them into coaching it sells them into my mastermind programs, my world building programs. Uh, it does all those things. And I had the pleasure a couple months ago of working with my top group, my top 1% world builders with an eight week coaching program that I put together. So we're really starting to see things, you know, head the right way. Our mastermind in September is filling up. Um, I'm starting to, we're starting to scale our books. In other words, our ads are near profitable. So for every dollar I'm spending, I'm now returning almost one dollar. When I get this return on investment to an even one to one or even better, maybe a one to two, we're actually making money on the front end, then we will scale this company to the moon. My goal is to spend, to invest $10,000 a day on the marketing of Badass Millionaire Brotherhood, $10,000 a day. Right now, I'm investing a couple hundred dollars a day in advertising 
and is selling, I sell, you know, seven, eight, nine books per day. I attract and build my list. I'll have six, seven, 10, 11, 12, 19 people join my video list every day. So my email video list that you're on is now in the thousands. It started at almost zero. I had a list from before, from my old insurance marketing days, my renegade insurance marketing list. But when I started sending videos and launched this company just last November, that's the thing. We worked all this time, all these months, all these years, and most people think we just started on American Thanksgiving. Well, the fact of the matter is, we had been working behind the scenes for months and months and months before that, since 2000, March 2020. So the work never ends. So I built this email video list up to thousands and thousands of businessmen. I've shot 200 plus videos. Uh, haven't missed a single day. Uh, I wrote that book in 60 days, hard copy book. You can get it at nobullbook.com. And we've got one eight week world building program under our belt. And this September, we launch a 12 month five star mastermind where you can get details at badasschampion.com. It just, I want to emphasize to give you inspiration, to give you motivation on those tough days, which we all have plenty of, that it's all hard work and it's all battles and it's all challenges and it's frustrating and there's all kinds of issues with everything from, you know, uh, bureaucrats to red tape to employees. Um, it's just endless, but that's our passion. That's what we choose. We're entrepreneurs, we're builders, we're creators, we're different makers. You're the hero in the arena. You're the man in the arena. If you take a six week nap, our economy grinds to a halt. I don't follow politics anymore because politics has nothing to do with our economy. Those guys can't help or build our economy or help our economy recover. Only guys like you can. Entrepreneurs, builders, people who hire, pay taxes, support t-ball teams and, and build things. So you're the hero in the story. You are the man in the arena. It's your balls that are on the line. Not Joe Biden's, not Justine Trudeau's, not any of these pretend leaders. So my hat is tipped to you, the man in the arena. So from here, you know, it's, I said to Mark Andre, I said, I'm gonna give you 10 years. We partnered on this. I said, I'm gonna give you 10 years. I said to Mark Andre the other day, I said, I've given you two and a half already. I've been on, I've been on these contracts in hockey where, you know, you sign a five year deal and you think it's long or you sign a three year deal to coach and you think it's long and you look up and it's year two or year three. So I understand that time is finite, energy is finite, but we have worked endlessly for two and a half years just to be starting to make this happen now. I had to bootstrap it, like I said, for almost half a million dollars. I would do it again in a second but we have got to do the work behind the scenes before we can have any public success. How long did it take me? How many years did it take me to buy the Perth Blue Wings, coach the Perth Blue Wings, reinvent, tr just transform the team on and off the ice, rebuild the franchise, number one in season tickets, number one in corporate support, number one on the ice. How long did it take? seven years. We won our first Barclay Cup in 25 years. The impossible was done, achieved, but it took seven years. Seven years of working 12 months a year, seven years of, of hiring the best coaches and trainers and video people that money could buy, investing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in that team on and off the ice. And finally, finally, after seven years, we kicked at that darkness and it, it, bled, it bled sunlight. Seven years. How long did it take for me to take over my dad's insurance company, 
transition and transform all the marketing, all the staff, everything, pick the niches. It took me seven and a half years to pay for McLean Insurance. I was on a 10 year uh, buy agreement with my dad. I did it in seven, let's say almost eight years, putting every single penny that I made. We were doing millions and millions and millions of dollars per day in sales. We were, our phone was ringing 340 times per day. We were winning this award, winning this award, doing this, doing that. What was I doing? I was paying myself $40,000 a year. I was living in a tiny one bedroom apartment, driving a financed vehicle, and every single dollar I made was being given to my dad to pay down the debt. I didn't have to do that. I could have lived, you know, a little bit higher. I could have bought a house. I could have bought a nice vehicle. What did I do? I lived simple for seven, almost eight years paying down. When I would get a profit sharing check, 40 grand, 100 grand, 170 grand, I would look at it, I would smile, I'd take a photocopy of it, and then I'd march into my dad's office and sign it over to him. Paying down the debt, paying down the debt, paying down the debt. Plus I was paying my dad $30,000 a month, a month for those eight years. That was the deal. I was buying the building. I was buying the insurance company at a multiple. And my dad, being the solid businessman he is, didn't give me any deals because he gave me the going rate for the industry. He made me buy it properly, 30 grand a month. But I, I was paying down more than that. Any money I had, pay it down, pay it down, pay it down. And after seven and a half years, I owned the building and I owned the insurance company. And it was all... It was all, uh, it was all um, from onward forward from there. It was, we were moving forward then because I had zero debt and now I owned this incredible, incredible business that I could scale. So I just want to share with you my boots on the ground story. All you hear on anti-social media and all you hear from these gurus is this success and I sold this and I make this much money and they're standing in front of hotels and luxury vehicles and you know, 99% of those guys are dead ass broke. I can see it in their eyes. I know what it takes to win. I know how, I know how winning operates in hockey. Seven years for winning to take my call. Seven years, winning ignored me for seven years. I said every regular season, a uh, record there was for everything, for wins, for total points. You know, I was breaking 100-year records. Winning said, do it again. Winning then said, do it again. Winning wasn't impressed. Winning rolled its eyes. In the insurance business, I started doing marketing with my postcards and my newsletters. I started sending flyers, 500 per month. And then uh, seven, eight years later, we were at 120,000 flyers per month. Winning just laughed and said, we'll see you later. Wasn't enough, keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. We went through hard markets, we went through soft markets, we went through employees quitting on us, we went through employee theft, we went through massive taxation. I went through uh, being removed from uh, the local association, they want to remove us for our marketing said it was too ugly and unprofessional. I had my big $30 million competitors uh, faxing in all of our uh, av advertising to the governing board, to the uh, compliance. Insurance is an industry, by the way, that's very stuffy and very stogy and very, you know, white shirt professional. So I had one guy in my community who owned an insurance agency, the biggest guy in the game, and he would just constantly write letters of complaint to the compliance board, hoping that some of this stuff would stick, that I was doing something unethical. In uh, 17 years in that business, never once, never once was I fine, never once was I uh, found to be outside of the, the lines, anything. But it was a distraction, it was stress, it was a lot of pressure. So this all came with winning. 
So after 17 glorious years in that business, winning, start, winning took my call. After seven years in the hockey business, chasing, chasing, chasing a Barkley Cup, losing, starting again, losing, starting again, taking that bus again, the bus idling out front, lose, end your season, game seven, get on the bus to hell again, get on the bus to hell again, get on the bus to hell again, losing, losing, finally after seven years, winning took my call and we won a Barkley Cup and my mom and dad and my wife Krista were able to lift that cup. So I talk a lot more about this in my masterminds with my elite guys. If you're interested in that mental toughness training, in building an unstoppable business, uh, recreating and reconnecting with your wife and your kids, you can apply at badasschampion.com below. It's a 12 month mastermind. We're gonna meet in Vegas. We're gonna meet somewhere else, probably Florida. Uh, and I'm in your ear every year. I coach you for 90 minutes every single week online by Zoom, webinar, all that kind of stuff. It's demanding, there's real accountability, and it's hard coaching. So it's not for most guys. But if you're interested, go to badasschampion.com. If you haven't got a copy of my new book, you can do so at noblebook.com, and that link is below as well. As I do, and I encourage you to do before the sun sets, make sure that we hug our wife and children. The most important blessings in our life are right in front of us. Come on, Cliffy. And make sure that every day you make a point of telling those people eye to eye how much they mean to you. It could be leaving a little note on the kitchen table. It could be putting a post-it note on the bathroom mirror. It could be shoving a little note into a lunch. Whatever it is, telling the most important people in your life every damn day how much they mean to you. That's it. Two words. Keep, uh, keep pounding, guys. Keep pounding the rock like my buddy Dwayne Casey says. Keep pounding that damn rock. Keep pounding that rock. Keep pounding that rock. You get to 10,000 hits, nothing. You hit it 10,001 times and the stone breaks wide open. That's how winning happens. You just chip away, chip away, chip away, boom. All of a sudden after 10,000 times you hit it with that pick, the 10,000th and one time you strike it, it cracks wide open, that boulder cracks wide open. That's when winning's taking your phone call. Okay, two things that changed my life. Two things that'll help winning take your phone call. Be relentless.